5 a.m. A small boy, about four years old, could not understand why all of a sudden members in the family burst into a loud wail and looked crestfallen. Not knowing what to do and what not to do, the child looked inquiringly at the grief-stricken faces. Soon he came to realize that his father had died, though the word death was beyond his understanding. His father had died in a tragic train accident, leaving seven siblings and the widowed wife behind. The youngest sibling was about a month old and the eldest 17 years. The deceased father was a petty worker in an industry and had left no savings for the eight-member family to survive on. All the siblings, including the small boy, had to grow up in the midst of severe poverty in a very remote village of Orissa in India. The boy did all menial jobs here and there voluntarily and helped his widowed mother. The early childhood and fate forced the boy to fend for himself and was thus self-made right from the age of about five years. He gave his mother the solace by wiping her tears and he gave his little sister the comfort of his lap to sleep on. By about seven years of age, the boy was already sharing his hard-earned money from his work with the classmates. He kept one rupee out of his wage earned for the day just to give tea and snacks to his four friends at a tea shop near the school where they studied. He also helped the village folks and friends by giving his time and energy to fetch groceries and provisions from the nearby market every now and then. The boy grew up to be a youth in due course. One day, while he was doing his master's program in Utkal University of Venetia, he gave away the 300 rupees given to him by his eldest brother for joining the college picnic to one of his friends who had no money and helped the friend to join the picnic while he himself stayed away from it. After completion of his master's degree in chemistry, this young man landed himself in a teaching job in a local college. Besides the job, he did private tutoring and with the income, he supported his needy friends and his poor family members, ignoring his own comforts. This young man soon thought of and ventured to set up two institutions with only 5,000 rupees, equal to 100 US dollars, in a rented building in 1992-93. <coughs> Today, while one of these institutions has become the most promising university of the country with 30,000 students from across the globe, the other institution has become the beauty of the world which nurtures and gives a decent life to 16,000 poor indigenous children of the country 30,000 from Keys, Bhuvaneshwar, 20,000 alumni, 10,000 in 10 satellite centers in 10 districts of Parissa, providing free education from kindergarten to post-graduation and professional education with fully free residential and boarding facility. The small institute was started with only 100 US dollars in 1992 has been instrumental in giving smiles directly and indirectly to 1 million people and looks forward to giving smiles to 10 million people by 2030. He has also given back to his remote village, turning it into a modern village having all amenities of a city. He has also greatly contributed towards enriching art, culture, films, literature, spiritualism, and many other fields. The same person, after creating so much for the society and people, and after achieving so much, lives the simplest of the simple life in a two-room rented house without any personal property and has chosen to remain a bachelor. His only hobby is to bring smiles to faces of thousands of poor children irrespective of caste, creed and religion. This boy of yesteryears, who has now grown big in stature, gives credit for all his accomplishments in life to the art of giving, 
which he had silently learned since his childhood. It has been the ethos of his life. He passionately believes in the potent of the term, the art of giving, which ultimately brings peace in the minds of people in the society. He has institutionalized the concept since 17th May 2013. He is none other than Achyuta Samantha, the visionary social entrepreneur, social worker, educationist, the founder of KATE and KISS, the KISS Foundation India, the KISS Foundation UK, and the KISS Foundation USA. In and welcome to KIT group of institutions upon rank of and the summer to the Good institution, Javisar Apamane, which is both Sunitive, Janitive. तभी सर आप अपन को मुझे क्या आगो को अवलोकन करे आप इन चाऊन ची किचे किचे वर्ड्स मज़रे इंग्लिश हिंदी टिके मिस जाए करे क्या हम करियो सिर्फ नहीं बट को इंदा पूरा ट्राई करे भी ओढ़े आप अपन मां को सावजीन सभी सर बुझे दे पा रे आप एंड लेट्स गो टू दिस किट्स स्कीम्स की गैसे हमारा मुख्य तारा बहुत अपन देखी थी वे एजुकेशन सेक्टर है बहुत बहुत बिस्तर तरह के नए साल लाने छोटा संस्थारु ग्रो करी करी आप लोग को बहुत ऊपर स्थान रखो पहुंची सर लेके 1997 ने डॉक्टर राजूता समन आ फाउंडर सर करो बहुत मेहनत रा फड़ा अजीब में देखे अपन पहुंचो जो तेरे अपन वाले देखो तो अपन जत that gives a different feeling. Go to Noah Tariqar. Upper one go to take it.